Then the, the next question is about a very controversial policy in China. This is the one family, one child policy. That is the most extraordinary policy that I've ever heard of. It, it's, it, it's, it's an aim to, to destroy the country. If you were to have a, a one-child policy, ultimately China will disappear. You have to have a two-child policy at the least in order to grow. Uh, and it's better to have a three-child policy than a two-child policy. Right. Another point, uh, you know, we, we uh, didn't emphasize enough in our book is the importance of in family as an institution in China. And certainly this one-child policy has a huge long-term basically damaging impact on Chinese families. It, it destroys the family and therefore destroys the most important social institution which a country can have. Right, right. It's madness. Do, do you have any, have any uh, advices you can offer to you know, Chinese economists? Now they are um, facing this, uh, this rising market economy for the first time. And uh, they, some of them trained in the West, some didn't. But they now have this opportunity to study how a market economy works in China. What kind of advice you would offer to a ch Try to start a market economy and tackle the problems as they arise. I don't think one can work out what problems will come first. But It's up to the Chinese to solve their problems. People in the West are not going to be helpful because they won't understand what the problems are in China.